mental and physical well-being and your life coach help you resolve your child wounds from your parents today's video is all about my friends how you need to look at your parents remember like what the fuck you talking about well here's the thing if you're looking to resolve these issues these wounds from childhood from your parents be either for mom or dad and i was taught and this was a perspective that was um given to me by a uh, friend of mine who's a medium medium that i work with okay and she told me that you know that for me and i didn't think about this like for me you guys start looking at your mom as your mom look at her as as another human being and that's one easy to do and two no one tells you and, I, and it goes back to something i thought before because no one really tells you your parents didn't tell you like by the way at some point you know you need to stop seeing me as this god like this parent and you know i'm still your, I'm still your mom and dad but you're on your person and, you know you're adults and yada 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 you know and it's it's not kata so if you're looking to resolve these issues you know you have to look at your parents mom or dad or whether you have an issue with your mother or your father you look at them as another human being why is that because looking at your parent as a mom or dad there's you know the uh, there's the, there's the hierarchy element to it where it's like there's your mom or your dad or your parent and then there's you there's that the other aspect is there's the emotional aspect which i'm not saying that it's bad that, that you need to get rid of which, which you know in some cases depending on how your parent depending on how your mom how your mom and it was you may still care for them other times you're like i don't care about them they were completely horrible pieces of shit that destroyed me and i hate them and that's fine that's how you feel that's how you feel there's that element too, you know, when you, you have that 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 part where you're kind of lost my mom or dad, how can I? It's like that holds you back from truly, uh, I don't want to say letting them go, but to disconnect yourself where you see yourself as I'm my own person. You can still care and love them, but, you know, I don't have to bow down to them because, oh, my mom and dad, I can't, I can't, I can't disrespect them. Like, this is wrong, you know? You're still going to feel how you're going to feel. But you need to do that because if you're trying to recover from this and heal, you have to see them as two other human beings, which is just who they are. And at the end of the day, they're human just like you and just like you and I. Now obviously, like I said, it's hard to see them like that because you that you they've raised you. But you need to go over them and see them as a human being who a human being that while you're trying to heal and get over shit, they have not. They have refusing to do so and or acknowledge that they have issues but want to blame you for it. And when you see it like that as another human being, then you can go, wait, would I tolerate this from another friend, another another person? You wouldn't. Because when you put in when you put it in the perspective of us, my mom or dad, society tells us you have to obey your parents and, and take it no matter what the hell they do. But that that's not healthy because that just screws you over as if as you know, as you're trying to, you know heal and get out of this if you can't if you, if you just see them as oh my god i can't do that because that's that's disrespectful then you're just screwing yourself you you end up self-sabotage basically based on society which if you think about society doesn't really want you to be healthy or happy society, society wants you to be overworked underpaid greedy fat disgusting and just hate yourself in the world that's how society thrives really think about it but that's a whole new story so again you need to see your parents as two as, as two or whichever one you know as a regular person who's got their own set of problems who decided to throw them as you has who said who to take these their problems their the lies and put them as you as truth and then you're jacked up because you're taking on their lies and thinking they're a truth with which they're not because all you do is make you heavy and you're like ah so when you see them as just people then you go oh this makes sense now they're a person, so it is okay for me to for me to disconnect for for me to disconnect, to you know if I need to excommunicate you from my life, either temporarily or forever, you know then it's okay for me to break up with you, break up with you, and let myself heal, give her my shit, so I can you know take back all the pieces that have been taken from me, rebuild myself. And go on with my life because I have stuff that I need to do while you take care of yourself. Now it's kind of harsh, but when your parents have issues and they don't resolve them, 
you need to push them away. You need to go away from them. You need to discount because it's only killing you, hurting you in the long run. And then if, when they do pass away, you, you, haven't, you haven't resolved this stuff. It just becomes harder, you know? And um, and how I know that, how do I know that it's harder? Well, the example I've used is, is Dr. Wayne Dyer, who's passed away now, but um, he had dad issues. And when his dad was alive, his dad was ter terrible. And then his dad passed away. He was still angry at his dad, still having issues. And my own father had mom issues too, even though and even though she had died long before I was born, my dad's issues resurfaced long after she had died, and he was still angry at her for shit that she had done to him. And she was dead. And it's hard to do at that point because well, they're not there for you to like say anything. So you don't want to be in that position. It's like it's like kill the monster when it's small. And don't let it grow, because because the because the, the longer that you you choose to not deal with it, the harder it becomes to deal with it. You can still deal with it. It depends on you know. Do you want it to be? I mean, how much harder do you want it to be? Do you want do you want it to be a really hard challenge? Where you're like, oh my god, I should I should have done this years ago, or be like, it's still tough now. But if I do it now, I'll thank myself. I'll be I'll be, I'll be so I'll be so happy. That's always something that you have to make. I can't make it for you. So, you gotta see your parents as people. This way, you can heal, you can move on with your life. And, you know, hey, man, after that, get shit done, have fun, and do you. So, I end this. Hopefully, this all makes sense to you. You know, let me know what your thoughts are. Comment below. Like this video. Subscribe. Share, share if you like someone. We'll get better from this. And also, I have a free uh, video series. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can find out. You can um, subscribe to or... Yeah, subscribe. I can't think right now. <laughs> you can subscribe to and get. It's in the description below or maybe up here on the links here um, that you can use to find out how to really, you know, go deeper and resolve these child wounds. And also from that, you'll also get a free coaching session with me. All right. So love you. Talk to you soon. Get in the black. Peace.